Can you see anymore? Circle this. Circle what? What is the word you're circling? The. Oh, I said the word for you. <laughs> oh, but you know it. Can you see any more? You sure? Look carefully. Circle it. Mm -mm. All right, over here we have to trace. What is our word again? T H spells spells T H E spells spells what? <laughs> what is the spell, Leah? Okay, <laughs> you are so silly. Okay, trace your word. All right, good job. And then you can finish up in a minute. Down here, you get to write it in the box. Can you write it in the box one time for me? Down and then over the hill. Down the hill, over the hill. That's the way you traced it. Did you go over the hill the right way? Go over the hill the right way. Which way? Can you help me? Can I help you? Okay. Yeah. Let's fix this up right here. Let's see. Hold your pencil. Down the hill and over the hill. Let's let's fix this H. A little messy right here. Okay. One more time. Down the hill and over the hill. E. All right, one more time. Let me see you do it in this box. This, this. Down the hill and over the hill. You have to, this way over the hill. Look at, see how you go this way over the hill? I know it's difficult because you were left. You're so busy trying to go left. But H goes in this box, right? So we have to make a T first, right? Okay. Here. T. H. Go over the hill that way. Good job. And then E. Perfect H. I can't. I need help. I need help, right? Oh, you you already did it. Remember C? And then go in there. There you go. Now you get to color. 
You want crayons or colored pencils? Crayons. 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 Look on the table and get the crayons. Behind the chart. Oh my goodness. Good job. Now you can go back and trace and write another word in the box. And color your letters. Not yet. I'm going to trace your box. And color your box. And don't forget at the top of the page what do you have to do. Hmm. What what goes at the top of your page? At the very top. At what goes right here? <laughs> yes, and what is this word? What goes on this line? A M M E. What does that say? Not. <laughs> what are you supposed to write on this line? Your. A A. L and what is that? You <laughs> okay? Oh goodness! You can tell we've been on a break for a little bit. You write your name. All right, you want color right here? You see your crayon box? It says color your word. <coughs> so, I enjoy these pages because they incorporate the reading and the spelling and handwriting in one so to break away from her reading book her phonics this does everything in one not to say that she won't do anything in her textbooks but ugh. Some days, this is all that's needed. And we play little games with the word. And just um, in her reading, in her red folder, the books that she has in there, we will make sure to search for the word of the day. You see, this is the fry word list. Um, and even though I think this is also a sight word, but I go off of the fry word list because there are words that are high frequency, and not all sight words are high frequency words. And I have talked about this before in previous um, pre previous videos and assessment videos. Um, the reason why I don't teach sight words to start is because they read, once I teach them to read, 
they will run across the sight words. They need to know how to read other words because sight words are just that. They are sight words. If you teach a child from the beginning to read sight words, those are the only words that they will be able to recognize. They won't learn the decoding part of actually reading. And so, um, if you watch the video before this, you will see my six-year-old. I did um, an assessment on him again using the Fountas and Pinnell list. There are 105 words in that list, and those are not sight words. And he was, I started him in that assessment on fourth, fifth grade because I knew he already knew I did. kinder through first. Good job, or kinder through uh, third. Good job. Now, go back and trace these for me, and then put your name on it. You want to write your name first, and then trace? This is pretty much right here. This is a review word for her. Uh, we are working through um, list one, the first hundred, and list two. In the, um, in the fry word list with her. Good, good job. Let's see. I think I have one to list two somewhere over here. Okay, here's my last stack of list two. So this is the first hundred. So there are hundred. And there are different activities we do. I do use a sight word um, activity in its sentences. Good job. Okay, Trace. So they are inserting the sight word in a sentence because sometimes um, those activities only take about five minutes and I want them to read sentences versus just a word. So I incorporate a um, sight word sentence and I've shared that too. Uh, it's been a while, but I shared uh, where I found that and um, they're actually reading the sentence and the we work on the grammar portion of it because it has the punctuation in it and the um, that gets them recognizing that there's periods question marks exclamation marks um, and sentences so good stuff as you see I just mix it up and it works we bring it all together and it works. Like do can not and she does no not were so morning work. This is where we're at with morning work. <coughs> I just believe in exposing the children to words. Just in general, when we're reading books, um, I'm always having them to repeat words and making sure they understand what words mean because it's starting with words builds okay they can understand the sentence they can understand the, the um, paragraph and they can understand the story rather than um, giving them a whole story and saying okay what what um, what happened if you teach them in steps build it over time then they are able to comprehend because I think that's a, a big part of 
a lot of people get the misconception of um, reading and comprehension being the same thing. A child may be able to read the biggest word, but that does not mean they be, they're able to comprehend what that word means. And I work on both because it's, it's equally important to be able to read it as well as comprehend the word. So that will set back a child's uh, reading level. If they can only read the word, then um, they may only be at that grade level. But if they also comprehend that word, that will automatically um, let you know that they are above level. And um, I, I continue to challenge them once I recognize that they are above level. And so again, some children, she's only four. There are some children that are five and are, are right here. And this is completely fine. There are some children that are six that are right here. And this is completely fine. Every child learns at a different rate, at a different speed, and this is just a culmination of the past four years, how I've taught her, so she has progressed um, above level. And I am going to share a um, soon a review on a reading a phonetics program that I have um, that I'm recommending and have recommended to a lot of people. I get a lot of messages, um, PMs, emails, and such, and I have recommended them. I just haven't shared it, and I'm using it with her and the. Um, and the three-year-old yes ma'am and so um i'm going to share that because it is free and it is very well worth it um i haven't heard anybody talk about it and um what else was i going to say i'm right there at your fingertips um there are some things that i will share and how I use it like I said I just wanted to make sure it was effective before I put it out there I don't like to just share things and then not be able to explain yes um, where I get material and things like that and how they actually work so I will um, definitely get that out sometime in the next month Let's see, today is November 25th. So sometime in the next month before the end of the year, Can I will get, um, get that out. Yes, I'll get the scissors. Hold on. So, what letter? <coughs> All right. So what what picture would we put with the letter M sound? Tree. Okay. Wait a minute. Tree? Man. Okay. What sound does M make? Mmm. Mmm. Good job. Mmm. What sound does T make? T. 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 Okay. So we will put. What is this a picture of? I'm in. Where does this go? Good job. And we did man and tree goes where? And what is this a picture of? A turtle. And it goes where? And <laughs> good. What is this a picture of? A mailbox. And where does it go? Where? Mm, mailbox. Does it go M or T sound? Mm. All right. What is this a picture of? Mm. Turtle. This one. What kind of bird is this? A duck. What kind of bird is this? I don't know. 
Looks a little strange, huh? Yeah, it does. So turkey. Turkey. What sound does turkey start with? T. T. Uh huh. What is this picture of? A um, moo. What does it start with? What sound? Good job. What is this the last picture of? It's a little tricky. A cow. Uh huh. You got it. And what sound does it start with? Say the word. Yes. So with her, sometimes she's a little confident, which is fine. And I just have to, you know, remind her just to make sure she gets it. But yes, you can do it. She's just eager to cut. So this is why I do pages like this with her, um, just for the cut paste practice. And just to make sure she does have these sounds down, mastered. So what do you say? Thank you. See you next time. You all have any comments, anything I did not uh, clarify, um, anything you need me to link in the way of reading, just leave me a comment and let me know. I know this may seem random, but... Um, There's more cutting pages. Yes, there are more cutting pages. I'm leaving some for Zai because Zai, Zai is doing these too. Zai and No, just Zai. They know these already. All right.